What's up, everybody? Welcome back to some more GTA 5. About to do some more Franklin missions with uh, Devin Weston. Hello? Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Ah, oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ah, good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course you must be the creepy one. Not coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. I wish I could take my car, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's do this. That's a little bit of a drive. Let's see how long it takes us to get there, huh? Hope you guys are having a great day. It's about time to let loose on this freeway, highway, byway. Let's go bye bye. Watch we mess up this car greatly. <laughs> Was I supposed to go that way? <laughs> Damn, messed that dude up heavily. Because I didn't know which way to go. They should I wish they would have put the directions on the bottom like like it is in sleeping dogs. I would never miss the turn. Call him Michael. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seat. Get the drivers there. Get them going at speed. Cool. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. That easy, huh, Frank? These are cars you can't get unless you buy. This is gonna be fun, nighttime. Usually do this during the day.
see if we can get the objective. Oh, this is so fun. It's like, it's like Fast and the Furious. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. You gotta watch out because I will hit him if I'm not careful. That fun over there, brother. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is so cool. Racing. Racing. In and out the traffic. Yeah. Get out my way, boy. Almost hit him. Ooh, got close to you, boy. Got close to you, boy. Ooh, they slowed me down. Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. All right. We ain't playing LSP to the far, but this is gonna be just as fun. Let's go. In and out traffic. Good things come to those who wait. How you do it, T? We gotta hang in there. Am I gaining on them or is that my imagination? That's your imagination, buddy. They doing some speeds. As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. For you lost. Stop your car, now. Stop your car boys. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! 
you, you little shit! Get the fuck out of here! God! I love those cars, but I'd rather drive with Franklin. Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devin Weston Holdings. Assistant. I need to tell Devin we got them calls. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South LA. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. Asshole. Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? That was close, dude. At the end, Michael hit his brakes, and I like had to swerve. That was crazy. Let's get it. Hey, Frank. Yeah. What did I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> got that full circle. Dude. I don't know why I didn't swerve over it. <laughs> but anyway, you got that full circle action going. Tried to give them lead the lead but they didn't take the lead hey, look Devin Weston he ain't like anyone you worked for before man he runs his mouth wants me to boost cars and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they were it don't sound that different to be honest now you must know who this guy is look him up he's a real deal I've seen his house he can make things happen so he like to you what you were to me I see your house I think this dude can take me places Hey, you dudes are in the stolen ride. You ain't got no excuses for being way back there. I'm saying they way back, I way. You ain't gonna have that lead for much longer. Oh my gosh. Where are they going? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. It ain't a, it ain't a GTA 5 video without me crashing. Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? <laughs> My car is fine. Yeah, I hope so, because I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seats were here when I got in. Whoa. Oh, come on, T-Man, please. That boy said the stains on the seat were already here, girl. What stains? The shit stains or other stains, bruh? Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me. Five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, 
You finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Finally, finally made it over here. Put up your hands and stand where I can see you. All right, you got me, homie. All right, you know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Why don't we see if this thing picks up my man on the ground? Public exposure? What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the how. Do we looking for us down that way? I'll follow in the car. Howard, you heard the man. Wherever Public you exposure. Go. Public exposure, really? You arrested my African American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me. Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nightstick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, please! We've come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're off your kid. Use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. All right, so let's see if we can find a hot week. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan, all right? Chad Mulligan, roger that. Now let's see if we can find Mr. Chad. R1. Yeah, good luck.
BS him. Come in, Franklin. Suspect not in the area. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of him. Roger that. Can you pretend you're enjoying it? I'm already very insecure. This isn't helping. I'm paying you a decent wage. I expect some enthusiasm. Not our suspect! Hey, Jay, you disrespecting my girl, man. Bro. I've already paid her for a service. This is bullshit. Wrong suspect! Well, shit, now you paying. But a service of me not shooting you in the face, you disrespectful fuck. I've already maxed out my ATM with... Damn. supposed to be uh what's that dude name Zavo. Zavo. Glad. Glad. jizzy is he supposed to be jizzy oh, from oh, sa even though jizzy died obviously but you know I'm done. I'm done with this. Would you look at that couple? Finally, normal, adjusted, healthy people in this horrible town. Come in, Franklin. We've got a positive ID on the suspect. I repeat, we have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We're looking for his lockup, dog. All right, stay home and look out. Roger that. All right. Trevor panics quick. Hey, 
He got it in the like the old school. The old school back. Well, I wouldn't say Batman. I'd say more like Bruce Wayne Mobile. You need some motivation, apparently. So I'm, I'm seeing why Trevor did what he did. Copy three, we have reports of dangerous driving in your sector. Uh, well, this is Chopper Unit Three. Reports are greatly exaggerated. Over. Your boy Chad very nearly totaled the score. Oh, Chad, that was close. Okay, I see the motherfucker, man. I got this. You sure? You sure you got this, Frank? Cause you had them gun, gun to right, oh, so dead to rights. Damn. Suspect back on Del Perro heading west. Frank, you gotta speed this up. He's getting away. Hey, you my eyes, right? Reckless driver sighted crossing Dorset Drive. Suspect sighted near the Life Invader offices. Man. Helicopter. Slow and steady. This camera's giving me a little air sickness. I get violent when I'm queasy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll keep her steady. All garage exits clear. Suspect is in the building. I can't see him. Need some help here, flyboy. Where is he? Uh, you can toggle to some. Oh, he got out the car. Well, it's a dude that's sitting in the car, so let's go on here and get this out the way. Near side of the garage, on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be worth something. Extended clip. That's all we got. But it ain't. They ain't got no resale. Zilch. They only made ten of these. Suspect down. Fine work, ground unit. Franklin, that's all you have to do. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Mom, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Are you crazy? Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? We're just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. God, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Nah. 
Nah, I ain't like Michael. But you ain't do enough for me, cuz. I wouldn't have got to give off either if I was Frank. These E-Type handle nicely. I like the acceleration, the controller. Hey there, how you doing? Let me get past it real quick. That Molly mission that's gonna come up soon? Well, not soon. It's gonna, it's gonna actually take a while. But when she actually gets like that, that scene is gonna get blurred out. Cause YouTube says no. That's gonna be crazy. Hey, how y'all doing? Get past y'all real quick. I'm not gonna hit anything, I'm good. I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to <laughs> driving, all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like teen? No, not like teen, man. Exactly teen. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man. Right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no. Don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity, I'm security, I'm fast cars, blow jobs, I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man, I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go. In the sky. Oh my gosh. I did not think this through, did I? I'm definitely gonna fuck this up heavily. About to fuck this car up heavily. No freaking way right now. Damn! Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo! Dude! Look how high we are! Yo, Franklin, please don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Damn, yo, I lunch high. You got lucky, buddy. All right, so we're going to Salomon Witches. Open the gate. Thank you. Pulling up in style. This is a problem. Alright, 
pulled up in style. Why not? Let's go. Let's go talk to Solomon. Richard. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> you like me already? All right. We got to go to East Los Santos. All right, Cora, this is probably the last time I'm gonna drive you. It was fun while it lasted. At least for a while. I gotta find you on the streets again. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. See you on the set, boss. I didn't want a break right there, so I just said, forget him a crash. Sorry, car. Not gonna drive you that long, so getting it all out. Hey, how you doing? Finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. 
guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Get to the helipad without alerting Rocco. Okay. We'll walk up like a G in the suit. That was a cat. Gotta be in stealth mode. Ste stealth mode. Kick. Stay your ass down. All right. Slide over. Like a cool guy. Are we going this way or the other way? Climb that ladder. Climb that ladder, ladder, Michael. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Oh, you thought you was gonna get an easy one? You ain't getting nothing easy up in this bad boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. No, mercy. Get dropped. Get knocked out. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Oh, Michael flying skills sucks. Oh my god, bro, this is gonna be annoying. I mean, it doesn't matter at the same time, but I don't like it. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to the studio. Yeah, there's no speed limit. That. I was like right there. Hey, Milt, what? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm your apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say, Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir, and you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Now, where am I putting this thing down? When Devin Weston came to do a studio visit, he used the empty water tank. All right, then we'll do the same. Put it there, the water tank turned parking lot, setting it down. Bro, 
sway action. Okay. Goodness gracious. Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> Boy. Zuh. Get your act together right now. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. You're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it greatly. Oh. That's it for the Gran Turismo. What's up, Martin? Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. Oh, boy. Trevor about to meet Martin? It's about to get crazy. <laughs> 